here from Terminator Basics and what's wrong with the audio? Let's fix that. That is better. Today we're going to learn how to improve the sound quality of your voice in Adobe Premiere Pro using nothing but built-in effects. And just like color grading, we can do audio grading, making your voice pop more and make it sound more cinematic. Behold a video clip of me talking without any effects on my voice. Hi, I'm Jordy from the Premiere- Nah, just kidding, let's get serious. Hi, I'm Jordy from the Premiere Basics YouTube channel, and my voice is cinematic thanks to the help of Adobe Premiere Pro. Okay, the first thing we're gonna need to do is navigate to the effects folder and search for EQ. Drag and drop the paramedic equalizer onto the audio clip. But, Jordy, what is an EQ exactly? Well, let's find out. Click on edit to open up the EQ settings. Now, this might look a little bit overwhelming at first, but it will all be clear in a second. What we see here is called frequency spectrum. Here we can see all my voice frequencies from low to high. We can cut them or boost them. For example, cutting away the highs will make it sounds like I'm sitting in a bottle. And when we cut away the lows, it's starting to sound like on a phone call. But how do we use the EQ thing to improve our voice? Well, let's start by cutting away unwanted frequencies. Enable the high pass band, which as the name suggests, let the high frequencies pass through. Or cut away the lows. Next, cut everything below 60 to 80 hertz, which you can do by moving these points. You can't really hear those frequencies, but they can interfere with your voice, and that's why we're cutting them away. Next, Next, we're going to boost the lows around 100 hertz. We're doing this to create more bass and warmth, and this will make your sound way more enjoyable for the listener, or just make it sound more cinematic. Of course, we also want... No, I make it easy. Now, of course, we also want our voice to sound crystal clear, and we're gonna do that by bumping up to high frequencies. Boost it up until it sounds just the way you like. If your voice sounds a little bit muddy, try cutting a few decibels from the 200 to 400 range. That should fix it. Now, if you're a little bit lazy and don't want to do it yourself, you can try the vocal enhancer preset from the drop-down menu. This one is very similar to the EQ that we just made ourselves. Nice! Now, if you're short on time and you're working on a video project and need amazing stock footage, then check out today's sponsor, Storyblocks. In their ever-growing library, you can find more than a million royalty-free stock assets, all in high quality. There's everything you need for your project, whether it's your personal or commercial use, from animated backgrounds to specific clips for your videos, green screens, motion graphics, and so much more. They really help me to level up my creative work. You can find stock videos in HD and 4K resolutions. And to save you a lot of time, they have various Premiere Pro and After Effects templates, such as this After Effects intro animation. Just drag and drop your logo onto the project and boom, you've got yourself a nice intro. You can browse through awesome music and epic sound effects. There's even an entire images, photos, and vectors library. I believe that every creator can step up their game with the unlimited all access plan. You can download unlimited amount of assets or you can check out the other affordable plans because there is one for everyone's needs. To learn more about Storyblocks and how to start downloading, click the first link in the description down below or just go straight to storyblogs.com forward slash Premiere Basics. And now let's go back to Premiere Pro. Now that we're done cleaning up our voice, we're going to compress it. Drag the single band compressor onto the audio clip and open up the settings. Again, this effect can be a little bit overwhelming. Good thing that there's a preset in Premiere that can make the compression process easy peasy. Select the voice thickener out of the drop down menu. But what is this voice thickener going to do? Well, the compressor is going to squash the audio signal. It's going to make the loud parts a little bit quieter and the quiet parts a little bit louder. The only thing that we have to change within the preset is the output gain. And as you're doing that, check your audio levels so that it doesn't peak. Super important. Now, if it turns out that the clearance disappearance after compressing, you can always add another equalizer after the compressor and boost the highs back up just a little bit. That should make your voice pop out again. Now, by tweaking your voice with the EQ and the compressor, there can possibly appear some noise to the sound. To fix this, you can experiment with the denoiser effect. Open it up and play around with the amount slider. Now, it's really important not to overdo this because the denoiser will affect your entire recording. So be careful, my friends, because you don't want your audio to sound like this. 
Now let's say that you cut the recording into 50 pieces, basically doing an edit. Then there is a much better way than to apply all of these effects to every single clip. You can do that by heading over to the window and opening up the audio track mixer. Expand the effects rack from the top here. And as you can see, you can now apply all of these effects from the drop down menus down here. Let's take a look at this example. Here we have two interviews, one of Janik speaking and one of me speaking. Make sure that the audio of each person sits on a different track. And I'm going to rename the first track to Janik and the second one to Jordi. Now all of the effects applied to Janik's mixer track will affect everything in that track. All the effects we apply to my mixer track will work on those audio clips. And now you know how to make your voice sound just as cinematic as mine. Hi, I'm Jordi from the Premiere Basics YouTube channel. And my voice is cinematic thanks to the help of Adobe Premiere Pro. If you like this video, hit like, and if you want more audio related tutorials, be sure to let us know in the comments down below. You know, this way you're engaging with the video, which the YouTube algorithm really likes, and thus you're supporting this channel. So thank you so much for doing that. And thank you so much for watching. Thank you, Story Blocks, for your support. And as always, stay creative. Now, check out the video here on my left for more. Maybe that's an audio tutorial as well. I'm not sure what that, or whether, but I'm not sure what's gonna stand there, but it's gonna be a bit. All right, bye. Ha <laughs> ha